well. The Denver PD done messed up. Detaining anti-Scientology protester. Denver Scientology audit. His name is Jay. I'm going to show you what happened here. But first, I want you guys to subscribe, if you haven't already, to Denver Scientology audit. He has been doing a fantastic job out there in Denver regularly. And if anybody wants to send him some financial support on his channel, he's got a link here to his cash app. Just wanted to at least throw that out there because uh, I know people are going to want to get some or he's going to want to request some freedom of information documents relating. Uh, this is not the first time the Denver PD has detained him outside of uh, the Denver organization. Okay, so let me show you this is what happened just before. I'm going to go full screen on this. Well, here's what led up to this. By the way, spoiler alert, absolutely nothing led up to this. He's doing nothing but peacefully protesting. He's not even directly outside of the organization. <laughs> Okay, now, there's point, some view here where you can see the police car pull up. Because y'all probably can't see this. And then there's two of them behind um, a squad car who are talking together. Ah, uh, yeah, he can so see the see police. Let me get this on camera right quick. Just so y'all can see. <laughs> there they are. Oh, my what goodness. What we got going on. Is that three cars? Is that and three then I'm going to put y'all back down. So I'm also going to plug the phone in so it doesn't die on us. Give me a second, guys. I believe one side of his sign says Scientology traffics children. Oh, let me get this fixed for y'all. And Scientology destroys families is the other side of the sign. Hey, is it Jay? Uh, who are you? Denver Police. Okay, and uh, what, what is this about? Well, we, this is the second time that we've been here contacted you for the second time. Contacted me? Yeah, in our police car. You did, I contacted, contacted y'all the first time. Okay. Asked me what was going on in the area. Is your name Jay? Uh, am I detained right now? What's that? Am I detained? You're not detained yet. No, I don't want to have any point because I'm going to be uh, invoking my Fifth Amendment right. I do not consent to any search for seizure. Okay, well, why wouldn't you keep your hands up? We're going to approach you, okay? I, like I said, I do not consent to any uh, search for seizure. Okay, that's fine. My hands are already up. Okay, keep fine. them there. Keep your yeah. hands up. I will do as I need to. Okay. I'm gonna keep my hands up. Now you're gonna rip me down. What? What? Can you tell me what you need from me? Well, y'all, yeah, before y'all just start ripping me Jerry, around. You're being detained right now. Okay? And, and for what? what because what? It, because we believe that you you had stated and called dispatch that you have a knife and a handgun in your waistband. So, oh, uh, someone told dispatch that he had a knife and a handgun in his waistband. And I do not consent to any sort of procedures to leave my property at where you're going. And again, guys, they have the, the cuffs tighter than need be. And I want to make it known on the record that this uh, right hand cuff is tighter than needs to be. This right hand cuff? There's no way your fingers get in there. Yeah, okay, your fingers cannot get in there. Jay clearly knows what he's doing when it comes to dealing with the police. Okay, do not sexually assault me. Do you understand that my rights are being uh, violated right now? You have no reasonable articulable suspicion that I'm the one who made that call. Called the police and said you had a gun and a knife in your I waistband. never said that. You're making stuff up right now. And you know what? I'm just going to flip it. Okay. Yeah, they can call it. Dude, I already told you you do not have the, the reasonable articulable suspicion to have to do that. You do And what? So go ahead and say that for me then. Because you have a lot of dispatches and those that you have called. So we had this guy, of you, okay? How how does that make sense? I would make the phone call. I am like I said, I'm not gonna be taking search of the seizures. Look, I I'm not gonna be answering any requests. This is not for me to help you figure out this. They're saying that Jay himself called police dispatch and said that he had a knife and a gun in his waistband. It doesn't get dumber than this, folks. So how would somebody know about that? You said you had a scanner. So, 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 so some of the security have their information. Right? Yeah, can you call that number back? That's why we're back. Call call back. Back. Right, so you have the information that you're questioning me about, correct? Do you have a police scanner? You already answered the question that so you're you asking. So, 
Well, I'm asking, you don't have a police pack. Do, do I have a police pack? Well, I don't think so. So then, so, so then you're your investigation is leading you to believe that I don't have a police pack. Right. Okay. I understand that. Do you, do you understand that this is the second time this happened to me? That somebody has falsely called against me. I'm not the one making these calls. Don't make They're asking him if he has a police scanner. You don't have a Get me out of here. And look, if y'all can't see that for what it is, I have no heck. Like I said, I don't really care to talk to you about it. Like I said, I'm not going to. I do not consent to any search or procedures. I do not need. I am. I do not need to provide an ID to you right now. I'm in public. Actually, you do. So okay. we're investigating. I do not need to carry an ID. Is, is your name? Okay. Your name's not Jay. Uh, 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 my name is not Jay. My name, no, I will tell you that much. My name is literally not Jay. I, I will be that frank with you. My name is not Jay. Look, man, you're not going to continue to hang into this bitch on me as you have me illegally detained off of allegations that are not even true. Well, we you're telling me you have reasonable suspicion. We had information and believe that you had, you had <laughs> a weapon but, so, on okay, so you. clarify that. How, do, how does that lead to me? When he is an expert in dealing with the police, you guys. How do you understand that? How do you understand that? I call it? He's like the streets LA of Denver. First come here, uh, I'm going to call the stabbing. Uh, we see you here, right from the building. And this guy, John, you're just a badass. Like, dude, you're not intimidating anybody. I'm not afraid of you, okay? Yeah, you're just staring me down. I'm trying to, like, maybe with a little less profanity. <laughs> Like, well, really, like, you're over there, you're just trying, trying to send me down. Like, you already know what's going to be happening. You already know I'm going to be released. So that's going to be good. Yeah, there's no way they, 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 you, know, you have no reason to believe that I made the call. I already know. How? 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 So... Guys, so that's why everything matches. Guys, they're saying because I'm drinking tea. That, no, right. that's just, that's just that's one one that that is one thing one that is leading them to believe that I'm I'm the the suspect. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's never too late to get out, sir. You see what they're doing to me? They're trying to silence me. Do you understand how dangerous this is? Freedom of speech is important. It's never too late to get out. Did you make this? Did you make this phone call? Is this why you're coming up here? Do you understand that they've approached me with guns? Oh no, why don't you question him? Obviously, like... He just said he, he just sense. said he doesn't... He doesn't and I said I didn't know anything. Five, nine, one, one, three, one. No, I'm not going to give you my name. I have no reason to give you my name. I'm not legally obligated to give you my name. You want to move I have not committed a crime. If he doesn't want to give a name, what not to fight It's cold. It's never too late to get out, sir. <laughs> he's still protesting while he's in handcuffs. Oh my God, what a legend. I'll, I'll stand and I'm going to continue protesting. Scientology is a cult. Oh, yeah. It burns on my brain, man. Do you not understand how suspicious it is that it's happened twice? And I, the first time what I released, time? I was released under a false detention of a, under a weapons call. Yes, the same fucking thing. So do you know that somebody's calling him in? I don't. If I did, I would, I'm already, I, I don't want to give you too much information. I'm already conducting the proper courses of action to get things addressed in, in multiple ways. When did that happen? You I'm not, it? you can look it up yourself. You, you we can't look it up. We like it. I don't really We're care. You, no, look, you have me in handcuffs. I already oh, told you this you shit is why, too though? tight. You know look. I told you this shit's too tight, and it's, there's no finger that could get put in there, so you need to loosen it. I already fucking told you I could get it. The right, the right hand, you cannot slip a finger in there. Look at that. Fix it. Yeah, just wait till there's 10 protesters outside there instead of just one. Then let's see if the Denver PD changes their tune. Let's continue, okay? Yeah, do your investigation. Does that better, though? Thank you. I appreciate that. Actually... Like, you, okay, look, you know protocol, right? You know how it should and shouldn't be. It's, it, it's tight. Okay. We're going to call him out right. Such a mystery, right? You think that you would be like, um, the phone number, let's call it back. Let's trace the phone number. 
Does it come back to Denver? Did it ping off of a Denver tower? Guys, the police don't even know who called it in. Y'all are literally making yourself look like fools. Like, you don't understand how many people are watching out right now. You may think it's just me. It's not. It's really, really not. So continue to make yourself look like fools. Y'all are, y'all are pretty much the same shit that goes on in LA. And this just happened to you here? No. I already told you what the fuck's happened to you, man. You said it happened to you before. Yeah. So it sounded like you're aware that of what's happened, right? Well, you, well, you had started out. So you you're asking me if it's happened before, and you just said that because I you told you. Because you said this happened before. And I've been warned you of this, right? And no, you didn't. Asking, yes, I did. You just told me that I'm I I'm trying to get more information. Did it happen no. yesterday? Did it happen a week ago, a month ago? I don't know. You can look it up. You can't look it up if they don't have your name. Hold on. It seems like a... Uh, yeah, I know what that is. You could do your job, and I'm not going to do your job, but you can't. I, I got all day. I got all day and I got so much support that I'm not even worried. I know I'm in, within my legal rights. I know I've done nothing wrong, so. And I'm gonna want to like, pardon every single Guys, I never uh, so dreamed that auditing these Scientology orgs in the way that the protesters are doing would simultaneously result in basically auditing these corrupt police forces all around the country. It's it's wild. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's also not my job to do y'all's investigation. I'm sure you understand. I understand. I understand. But you can also understand how this is pretty much infringing upon my freedoms right now. So why would I help you? So you're trying to put me in a cage. But no, but like my freedoms are no longer. I am not a free citizen, correct? So that's not. No, I know. I'm being the same. In the law's eyes, I'm not a free citizen. So I'm under your just. I'm under your control at the moment. Why would I help you? Why would I provide more information that may put me in a cell or make it both cuffs off you? Let me say this. So, so, so let's be real. Are the police here to protect and serve the, the public? So the Supreme Court ruled that they were not. You Gonzalez uh, versus. Yes, we also got a stabbing call. Right what, what, what would you well, maybe let the public know, unfortunately, um, hey, there is an emergency going on in the area where there's a uh, threat. Yeah, but when I asked y'all over there, what had happened? How did that interaction go? I, I, I should go first. So, sir, do you mind letting me know how that interaction went? When I asked you if there's any threat in the area that I need to be aware of, what did you tell me? By the way, guys, the box in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, Jay has his camera set up so that his front camera and his back camera stream simultaneously on his stream. It's pretty sweet. So that's why I can't move that box because that's not mine. Right. And it, how so, would, so we were trying to wonder how would you know that? Right. And anyway, with that with that information and then the second call, all those things that come together, right. that, that's how it was. Okay. You're good. Y'all do your information with that. Based on the live stream. No shit, Sean. Why would I call the police myself? Talk about IQ of like a pig. Go, go, do something productive. Get me out of fucking cuffs already. Let me continue my protest against the cult that he, that traffics children and doesn't allow their parents to go get them from the organization when they request. Let me out of fucking cuffs already, guys. I haven't done anything. We will let you out. I know. So, and you know, I haven't done anything. So let me out. You just said that I didn't make the call, so let me fucking go. You said the live stream proved that I did not make the call. So why am I still in cuffs, Lieutenant? Fucking idiot. I, does it, okay, but how does it make sense? He literally just said out loud that I didn't make the call. And how, here I am still in fucking handcuffs. Think about it. I don't really care. Go talk to your fucking game. I really don't care. Look, I'm gonna take a seat. I need to. I need. Yes, I need yeah. to take a seat. So you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna stand up just because you told me to sit down. Yeah, so, uh, no, you said, "Yo, go sit down." Oh, so now said, I'm gonna stand. You said you were gonna sit down. I, I did, and then you said, "Go ahead and sit down." You know, now I'm gonna stand because it's not gonna be anywhere along your so directive. You wanna do the opposite of anything I said? I'm not gonna follow your directives if I don't. I have not committed a crime. Y'all, y'all still have me in cuffs after knowing I did not make the call. Think about how stupid that looks. Come on, guys, use your fucking brain. I told you you're gonna let me go, so let me go so I can continue protesting. Y'all are making yourselves look stupid. I, I'm telling y'all right now. Fucking got a free American detained who's exercising his rights. Imagine that. 
you swore a constitution to the oath. You already know the, the investigation has been conducted. He fucking said that I didn't make the call. He already reviewed my live stream. Y'all have already been watching my videos. Think about it, guys. How stupid they all look. Man, somebody get the news out here. Get the news out here. And I'm, I'm going to need every single one of y'all's cards. Do not think y'all are going to get off scene without giving me a card. Y'all two in the vehicle, y'all are going to give, give me a card. Y'all showed up to the shit show, so y'all are going to get it, okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to go around for everybody here. I'm sorry to tell y'all. I need a card from everybody. I, before y'all miss the scene, I will make sure to get a card from everybody. Yeah, they could they could chat, sit chat, whatever. I really don't care. I already know I'm free. I already I've been free. I haven't done anything good. wrong. If I did something wrong, I'd be in fear. I'm not in fear. I know. Yeah, I'll give you a couple more minutes of my life. I'll give my free life to y'all that that aren't here to serve and protect us. Because the Supreme Court ruled that, right? That y'all, it is not y'all's job to preserve to protect to serve and protect us. You know about that, right? I know what you do. Got a free American here who's uh, being detained for... Uh, they're infringing my rights, man. Just over here trying to express my my, my First Amendment. He probably thinks I'm going to jail. But I know I'm not. Ah. I can't wait to take a sip of my freedom juice. You know what that is? That's freedom juice. I don't know. You, who wouldn't know a damn thing about freedom? You wouldn't know a goddamn thing about freedom. Freedom is me being out here expressing my rights, protesting against a cult that traps families and destroys them and traffics children. Do you understand that they're literally trafficking children across state lines, across across country lines? You not like you probably don't care, right? Right. And are you sound like a Scientologist? In 2012, you know who supported the Scientology coming in? The chief. The chief supported Scientology coming to the city. He phrased it like it was the second coming of fucking Jesus. It's a fucking cult, man. They're here to take money and ruin lives. I, and I will continue to protest. And y'all will continue to make a fool of y'all selves. When everybody is dismissing the scene, that's how it's going to go. John Luke Gomez. Okay, so well, what now? We just have your idea. Yeah, so you're trying to dox me is what you're trying to do. Like a fucking idiot. Look, I really don't care. So why why do you think telling my name, why do you think you telling my name matters of anything? It doesn't. Because you've already conducted your investigation, right? You've I'm just amazed that his phone can still pick up his audio from that far away. I need to find out what he's doing, what he's using. Do your job. Let's go. Come on, point, point. Oh, I see. You got this, man. Come on. Look at y'all. Y'all making a fool out of ourselves. You're making a fool out of yourself, kids. Go fucking do something else, man. <laughs> fucking slime. That, this is what slime is right here. Fucking slime and grind. Fucking trying to lock up free Americans expressing themselves. Ex expressing their constitutional rights. Something this pig wouldn't fucking know about. Put the cuffs on me all night and tight. Look, man, I'm telling you, all y'all are gonna give me a card number, and I will be filing the incident report. There's gonna be an investigation open up. You can call it, or I'm gonna call. You know, y'all don't need a fucking job. I'll do it for y'all. You know, once I find out, man, oh man. Man, oh man. The lawsuits. So I'll just start following shit. Because you had reasonable articles for suspicion that I made the call. Because you said I had seen. Guys, they're just making a fool of themselves. They already said that I wasn't the one that made the call. He literally said they reviewed the live stream and I wasn't the one that made the call. Obviously. Like, you how do you know that I should be out of You know that I should be out of cuff. You know that the investigation thing conducted. And you know that this is wrong at the moment. That's why you had to fucking say the damn thing. Look at this guy in silence. He know I should be released. That's why he had to fucking say the goddamn thing. They already conducted their investigation. They said I didn't make the phone call. They reviewed the video. And here I am, still in cuff.
Hey, Sergeant, they already conducted an investigation. He told me that I didn't make the call. They reviewed the video. I'm still in handcuffs. I just want you to be aware. This has been about five minutes now. They've just been fucking around with me. Yeah, oh, now it's gonna get serious out of the sergeant's here, right? Everybody fucking straighten up. Get your story straight now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right here. He's ashamed. He's absolutely ashamed. Say you're not. Say you're not ashamed to be here fucking arresting me, having me detained. Say, tell me you know you're not in the wrong. Tell me. Yeah, all right, do it. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Who would have thunk? And that, you know what? I, I, I do want, I am, I want every single card that's here right now. Good phone. Am I free to go? Am I still detained? Am I, okay, thank you. I need your card. Sir, I'm gonna need your business card. Sergeant, if I could please get your business card. Cause y'all wanted a, y'all wanted this. So here we are. No. Absolutely. I appreciate you, sir. I really do. You are one that I, 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 I just have to say, very professional. Thank you so much. Try to collect them all like Pokemon. And I, I do need these, these over here. Excuse me. No, I don't want to step in this freak. So if y'all could please provide me with the business card. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fucking pigs for one SP. Excuse my language, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll leave it at that for now as far as sharing his, um, well, uh, restreaming his stream. But remember, guys, if you're not yet subscribed, if you're just joining uh, and you're not yet subscribed to Jay at Denver Scientology Audit, subscribe to him. If you want to show him some financial support as well, he's got his cash app here linked uh, in his YouTube channel. Uh, this is Scientology's strategy to deal with the streamers and the protesters. Scientology and their Office of Special Affairs watches every minute of every live stream of every SPTV or SPTV adjacent or SPTV support, supportive uh, YouTube channel. Uh, in fact, it's probably the best part of the Sea Org members' day. They probably have an entire unit dedicated to watching all the streams. And honestly, they should be thanking us because it's probably the most exciting thing any Sea Org member ever uh, was assigned to do. So you're welcome. You're all very, very welcome. And uh, they know gosh darn diggity well that we have all been collectively encouraging streamers to prepare to do these live streaming protests outside of every Scientology organization, not only in the United States, but around the world. And that we've been talking about the fact that Scientology has just launched out, they call it fired, has just fired out to every org in the world, a brand new executive command team. And now that these new command teams are going back to their orgs, they are about to relaunch uh, heavily the sidewalk recruitment efforts that Scientology had sort of become famous for for a number of years before the COVID yeah. lockdown. And um, where you have Scientology doing sidewalk recruitment, you also want to have some live streamer protests helping educate the public uh, about the cult of Scientology. And Scientology is absolutely freaking out about this. And the only thing they can think to do is to harass protesters with false phone calls to the police and the fire department. Uh, they're trying to play their own copyrighted music loudly around live streams to try to get uh, channels taken down for copyright infringement. That strategy doesn't work, but it's just one of the stupid things that Scientology is trying. Uh, On the one hand, Highlighting instances of police harassing protesters, it might seem like that might scare people away from doing the protesting. 
I think it's the opposite. We have to highlight the fact that no matter how Scientology tries to get the police to harass the protesters, we need to highlight that time and time and time again, the protesters emerge victorious during the protesting. Even because this is what Scientology is terrified of. It really is. I know the test center on Hollywood Boulevard was shut real down. Org. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how to shut down a real org. That's what's next. What will that look like? What will they do?